Hi, Andrew here, and I want you to try and get 1% better. Wait, Andrew, 1%? That's it? That's all you want me to strive for? In a word, yes. Um, why? We all want to be successful. We all want to succeed uh, beyond our wildest imaginings, whatever those might be. I have designs to be successful at certain things, and getting 1% better doesn't seem to be the path to doing that. Okay, let's take, since it's January, let's take the New Year's resolution. In the New Year's resolution, the standard New Year's resolution, I'm going to lose 50 pounds. Well, not me. I'm not going to lose any weight. <clears throat> or, I'm going to get in shape. I'm going to learn to lift this much. Or, I'm going to learn to run this much. Or... One of two things happens. We make an over-specific resolution. I'm going to lose 50 pounds. Or we make a completely generic resolution. I'm going to get in shape. The I'm going to get in shape doesn't mean anything. How? What does in shape mean? You haven't specified anything. You, you, have no, you have no real resolution there. But I'm going to lose 50 pounds or I'm going to lose 100 pounds it is very specific. And it is a massive change. I weigh about 185. If I was in the position to try to lose 150 pounds, I'd probably weigh, or lose 50 pounds, I'd probably be weighing about 235. Well, that's over 20% of my body weight. Uh, trying to lose 20% of your body weight, yes, that is a massive change. And it would be a very good change. What happens? Well, to do this, to accomplish this New Year's resolution, the standard method is join a gym and go on a crash diet, etc., etc. And crash diets are terrible. They, they don't work. Um... Uh, they, they might cause you to briefly lose a bit of weight, but the rebound binge at the other side, you gain more back than you lost in the first place, so the dieting end doesn't tend to work. And then you go to the gym, and you immediately go as hard as you can for your entire workout. And the next day, delayed onset muscle set, uh, soreness sets in, and you hurt. It takes a few days for this to go away, and then you try going back, maybe, the second time, and you go all in, and you hurt. And it takes one, two, three, maybe, uh, bouts of doms for you to give it up. You tried to make a massive improvement and failed spectacularly. Don't try for a massive improvement. Try for a tiny improvement. Get 1% better. Consistently. That's the backside of it. Get 1% better every day. And then in three months, you're twice as good as you were. So what am I doing? <clears throat> well, I wish to expand out of my present career into writing professionally. I wish to make money as a freelance writer. It's why uh, one of the reasons I have my website, uh, standupright.ca, and it's one of the reasons that I have determined to write every day. Maybe not a lot, maybe 300, maybe 500 words, but I'm going to write every day because if I write every day, I'll get a little bit better every day. That 1% better every day. Well, I've noticed two things. One, I am getting better. I've been doing it for a week and I'm noticing that my writing is getting better. It's flowing more freely. It's easier. We go back to my attitude of abundance. Every idea kicks another idea. And I find myself, instead of writing one article, publishing one article a day, oh, wow, i got to get this other idea down. And suddenly I'm, I'm scheduling extra ones in because I have too much written to publish once a day. I'm publishing now twice a day, and I, I don't know, maybe that continues to go on. What that has unfortunately done is taken away from some of my time to create these videos. So now I'm applying, I'm attempting to apply that get 1% better thing to making videos to my YouTube channel. So every day I'm going to write a little bit. Every day I'm going to make a short video, and each time I'm going to try to get 
just 1% better, just a little bit, so that each day incrementally I'm getting better, but there's no great crashing letdown because it turned out it was too hard to get twice as good at making videos or twice as good at writing overnight. Take your time and get 1% better.